Double XL here backstage at Powerhouse 2014 with your girl Miranda J. We chopped it up with Neo, Kid Inc., French Montana, and more. Check it out. So you blew up on Instagram a, a few months ago. How are you adjusting to fame? Um, sometimes, you know, it could be making me want to go crazy. Cause it'd be like everybody just be calling me at one time. I'd be like, damn, like, I'll be wanting to throw my phone sometimes. <laughs> but then when I come outside and I see the love, like, oh, hey, you know, and I'm smiling at the end of the day, I remind, um, remind me why I do it. And then, what's going on with your debut album? Have you been working on it? Who's on it? Tell me about it. Um, we got Tyrell on it. We got Roddy Rebel. That's about it. Me goes, man. Double S say what it do. So you guys are dropping Rich Nigga Timeline. Now tell me about that title. What, what's going on there? Yes, that's just it. That's going to be, it's a rich nigga time. Like, they're going to tell her how we came from the bottom to the top, to from, from being broke to being rich niggas. Hey, rich nigga time, like, from the struggle. I know if you've seen the Bando movie, how we grind. Not to the rich nigga time, not the luxury living life. We came from the knee high to the nut high to the chest high to the top. And yes, we sir. here. We grow it up, man. Are you guys working on an album at all? Hey, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be dropping our album in February. February we should be dropping the album. Everything we do is an album, so really, yeah, we working on the album every day. February and January, it don't even matter when it drop. When it drop, y'all make, make sure y'all go get it. We here. Neo at Powerhouse 2014. So you have nonfiction coming out. Indeed, top of the year. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I hear that you're going back to your R&B roots. Why did you feel that was important? Um, I just needed to make sure that my R&B fans knew that. Uh, I never went nowhere to begin with, nor would I ever. You know, R&B is a part of me. You know, it's, it's who I am. So, you know, just just reminding them of where it all came from and whatnot. That's all it's about. You know. Is there anybody that's on it that you're excited about? Um, a lot of people. Yeah. Well, I mean, the first two singles. You know, we had Jeezy on the first single, Juicy J on the current single. Shout out to Juicy J. Uh, shout out to Young Jeezy. We got Schoolboy Q on the joint. We got T.I. on the joint. And there's a couple other ones that are pending right now that I won't speak on until they come all the way to fruition. But just just be be amazed. Be ready to be amazed is what I say. Okay, so you have Mac and Cheese 4 coming out. Yeah. Why did you decide to go with your mixtape title for an album? Um, I just wanted to stay in that same mentality as making a mixtape for this album. Because I felt like I gave the label what they wanted with the first album. Now I want to give my fans what they want for this album. Okay. Now, you were recently in this... Uh, pictured in the studio with Remy Ma, what were you guys working on? I mean, I knew Remy for like 10 years, man. It's like my sister, man. I love her. And I just wanted to bring her out to New York and see her, man, you know, and I love it. Um, Chloe recently spoke and she said that you guys were on good terms. How do you feel about the whole relationship? Uh, I mean, that's my baby, you know. I mean, whatever she says is the truth. We still talk every day, you know. Um, you've had a huge year. How does it feel, all your songs? I mean, you just put out body language. How does all of it feel? It feels good, man. It feels good that, you know what I'm saying, uh, it feels good that other people are excited about it. You know what I'm saying? I think that for me, it's, it's regular work. I like to go in and just make good music, man. And I just do my job and let, you know, the people around me really speak for everything. So it's dope when I'm just in the studio being me and making records and people like Usher and Tanasha reaching out to be a part of, you know, what's going on and me having the actual records to produce and send to them and they being a part of it. You know what I'm saying? It lets me know that people really rock with me, you know what I'm saying? Especially with the superstar legend Usher, you know what I'm saying? My record is dope. Speaking of working with Usher on Body Language, now that is the first single to your next album. Do you have a title? I don't have a title. Right now, you know, it's getting close to time where the, where the label's like, we need you to turn in the title if we want to get this promo right. And for me, you know, I want to really sit in the studio and be creative and let the, I like to let the music speak for what the vibe of the album is going to be, and I haven't actually had enough time to sit in the studio and let that title record come out where I feel like this is what the album should be about, you know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of still just in a beginner's creative process, you know? 